Hey guys, it's Starla Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and as you can tell by the title, we're going to talk about offers to watchers on eBay. Last week, I released several videos on Poshmark and strategies for your offers to likers over there to get more sales. As most of you know, it was announced in the eBay early seller update this year that they will be rolling out offers to watchers. It was supposed to roll out in March. However, today, the last day of April, there are still plenty of sellers who do not have the option available on their seller hub. There is a back doorway that you can go on your seller hub and go find the items with watchers that you can send offers on. I actually did a video on that last November, so I will put that up here for you guys. For those of you that don't have it right on the front page of your seller hub yet, um, you can watch that video and learn how to do it through the back door. Most of you already know how to do that. Most of us have been doing that for quite some time. However, this new rollout was supposed to make it much easier for us, skipping a couple of steps, not having to go through this back door. We were supposed to be able to go right to our seller hub and see what items with watchers on it were available to send out offers on. And like I said, it was supposed to roll out in March. It's the last day of April and there are still so, so many sellers that do not have it. I did announce last week in our Facebook group, I put up an announcement that you can write a message to eBay for Business on Facebook and, you know, just inquire as to why you don't have it and they'll set it up for you. Um, you can additionally, I mean, you can call eBay and ask those reps about it, but I think it's just been proven time and again, you're going to get better customer service and you're going to get a quicker response if you use the messaging system on Facebook and send a message to eBay for business. Uh, just, you know, be nice. That always gets you farther. And just ask them, you know, why don't I have it? Can you guys take a look at my account and set that up for me? Um, they will want your full name, your email address, and your postal zip code that are attached to your eBay account. So when you send your initial message to them, go ahead and include those three things in your message just to save yourself a step. If you don't include them, they're going to write you back and say, we would be happy to look at your account, but we need this information. And then you have to send it to them. So you might as well skip all of that, send a message, ask about the offers to likers on the Seller Hub and send your full name, your zip code and your email address that are attached to your eBay account. Right now, they are experiencing an increase in volume in messages. So when you initially send your message to them, you may receive an automatic response back that they are um, experiencing a high volume of messages and they will get to you as soon as they can. Even with them experiencing this high volume, most people are getting responses within a day. It doesn't take that long. Just be patient with them. A lot of people are writing in right now. Uh, a lot of sellers have heard that you can send a message to them and get your uh, seller hub set up for those offers to watchers really quick. So everybody's writing them. They have a high volume. Just be patient and wait. Um, when we wrote them last week, we got the message about the high volume and within a couple of hours, they still got back to Keith and said they would take a look at our account. And by that evening, we had the option available on our seller hub for us. So that is a way that you can get it if you don't have it yet. Everyone should have had it in March. The reps that we spoke to and the reps that other sellers I know spoke to said they didn't quite know why everyone didn't get it when they were supposed to. They acted surprised that we didn't all have it. But they, they within a couple of hours, will get it set up for you. So today, what I'm going to do is share my screen with you and show you, um, I'm going to show you me doing offers to our watchers and how you go about it on the seller hub through the front door and i'll show you the message i send along with it to the the watchers kind of like to entice them and make them feel like they're getting something special that this is an exclusive deal just for them which as most of you know if you want to encourage sales you want to make people feel like they're getting a deal especially if it's an exclusive deal people like to feel like they're part of something exclusive as far as a strategy for offers to watchers, we don't really have one yet. This is all brand new. Um, 
obviously we've been doing offers to likers on Poshmark for a while now. So we have a strategy there. We have a, a system in place of our discounts that we offer, what days we offer and how much. And if you didn't watch that video, I will go ahead and put that one up at the end of this as well. And I will link that and the um, backdoor way to do the offers to watchers on eBay. I'll have both of those videos pop up for you guys and I'll link them in the description box for you. Um, but as far as eBay, since this is like brand new, we're going to still be feeling our way around it for a while and seeing what ways work best, what days seem to work, what kind of, you know, percentage we want to offer off. And this is all new to buyers too, so keep that in mind. This is a brand new thing to buyers. People on eBay watch items for a vast array of reasons. It could be other sellers watching your items because they have something similar and they want to see what happens with yours and how much it sells for. It could have been someone that um, watched it just to bookmark it and come back to it later because maybe they were interested in it. Maybe someone that liked your item and just watched it just to watch it. Um, the buyers on eBay aren't necessarily watching your items in hopes of buying it or getting a discount. The watchers on eBay have been around for a long time and it's never really been for anything other than to keep track of an item. So it's going to take a while, I think, for buyers to get into some kind of a strategy or a routine or, for lack of a better word, to be trained, like Poshmark buyers, to watch an item in anticipation or expectation of us sending them a special discount for watching it. On Poshmark, that entire platform is set up and buyers know it's set up this way. You like an item because you want to buy it and you know if you like it, they're, the seller is going to send you a special discount and you're going to get a good deal. Buyers on eBay aren't used to that yet. I honestly think that moving forward as this continues to roll out and more of us utilize the offers to watchers, that buyers will eventually become trained um, that they can watch an item and get a special discount. It's just going to take time. It's a it's a whole brand new thing for sellers. It's a whole brand new thing for buyers. And we're all going to just have to kind of feel our way around for a while. And eventually us as sellers will find, you know, systems or strategies for what days we want to send these offers out, how much we want to offer off. And buyers will start to watch items in anticipation of getting those discounts once they all learn, hey, if I watch this item, I can get an additional 10% off. Um, and, it, you know, it, it's going to take a while. Like I said, everyone's getting used to it. And if you have um, best offers on your items, it still may not work exactly the way the Poshmark system works. Um, someone may not watch your item just to see what you'll offer them if they have the opportunity of sending you an offer. But, I mean, on Poshmark, it does. They absolutely have the opportunity or the ability to send offers to us on items that they like but they still like them and wait for you to send them the offer so that may be the case on ebay moving forward um even if you have best offers on buyers may not make the first move so to speak and send you an offer they may watch it just to see what happens but without further ado i'm going to share my screen with you guys i'm going to show you how to get to it on your seller hub once you have it available to you and like what I do when I send them out and the little message I send. Feel free to copy my message and use it if you like or change little bits and pieces of it to fit your business model. Um, obviously mine's going to have some stuff in it about free shipping, but I don't mind. I'm sharing it with you guys for that purpose. If you want to copy it verbatim, that's fine. If you're in the Facebook group, there's already several threads where I've typed it out for folks to copy and paste if they want to use it. If you're not in the Facebook group yet, go ahead and join us. Link is in the description box and you can either search for those threads or just make a new one and tag me and I have no problem with um, typing it out for you guys to copy and paste uh, if you want to use it. So let's look at my screen. Okay guys, here we are on the back end of our seller hub. To get to this page with all of your listings from the front of the seller hub, you can just hover at the top here over listings in the drop down box, you're going to choose active and that brings you to this page. If you have offers to buyers available to you, it shows up right here at the top. And you can see that mine is already pushed the radio button. You can also look at um, 
items that are available to be promoted. If you click over here, it'll show you most of ours are already promoted. And if they're eligible or, you know, edit it. Um, but we're looking at offer buyers, so make sure that's pushed. And then I go over here, I scroll over to the right to the watchers column, and I just click on watchers. What it'll do first is go from lowest amount of watchers to highest. So in order to flip it around, you got to click it a second time. You can see the arrow pointing up there. Once you click it the second time, it will order all your listings from highest amount of watchers to lowest. So you can see uh, our item with the most watchers has five. It's the Sound Girl Jeans, and it is available to send an offer. It has the green lit button here, and it says Send Offer to Buyers. So you just click that. I usually right click it and open it in a new tab so that I still have this list here to refer back to. And often when I'm going really, really fast, I will go down this list and just right click and open in a new tab a bunch of these over here and go down the row one by one. Um, kind of show you an example here. And you can open up a bunch and just kind of work your way through. So what I usually do is offer an additional 10% off, give or take a little bit for ease of math and without having to pull out a calculator and do extra work or take extra time. I just kind of round it off in my head, much the same way you do on Poshmark. So since these are $18.95, around $17 would be an additional 17 or an additional 10% off. And then I usually say um, exclusive. Ex it's hard to talk and type at the same time. Exclusive offer to watchers on this item. I make it sound exciting with an exclamation point. And then I do add shipping included in price on our items that have free shipping. Obviously, if it's something that has calculated shipping on it, I wouldn't include that last sentence. Um, additionally, there are some folks I've heard who will type in this little box right here. Uh, first come, first serve, hurry, offer in soon, offer at last for only 24 hours. You can add anything in there to increase the excitement or the impulsivity of the buyer. If you want to create that extreme feeling of this is a limited time and you want to get that impulse by and you want to make it sound like it's you know, just for them, it's exciting, but hurry, offer in soon. You can add any of that. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes this is all I um, put in, but sometimes I will add in something like first come, first serve, hurry, offer, only lasts for 24 hours. Um, and then I'll usually copy the whole message so that when I go down the row here, I can just quickly paste it in so that I don't have to keep typing it. It just saves you some time. So then I would go to the second one and go down the line. Um, but you can see right here, I want to point out real quick, the offers only went out to two buyers. And you saw that um, those jeans had five watchers on it. So clearly three watchers have already received an offer from us and it's sending it to the other two. So then on this Care Bear, I would say, you know, $14.50 is roughly 10% additional. And then I would go down here and just paste, and I don't have to type it in again, and send the offer. And that one, well, th that buyer is no longer a registered user, so that offer did not go out. And then this one, um, this must be a really old shirt we're trying to get rid of, so I'll just do like $9, um, just to try to get it out the door, see what happens. That one went out to two buyers. So I, you know, when I'm really going and I want to send out a lot, I'll obviously have more than three tabs open. I will open a ton up there. Um, I do try to focus on items that have two or more watchers. I don't really send them out to items with only one watcher. Um, moving forward in the future as I get used to this and maybe we have more of a strategy or st specific days that we're sending offers out. Um, maybe on the weekend when I have more time, I'll go down all the items that have watchers even if it's only just one watcher and send them out to everybody but right now i kind of try to grab a few every day until i get 
into a rhythm or more of a strategy like on Poshmark we only do them Thursdays and Sundays so for now um, because I'm doing them a lot more often and I don't want to spend a lot of time and I don't really feel like anything with one watcher is as likely to sell on an offer with something with more it's just my feelings on it I do try to focus on items that have two or more watchers and you can see for whatever reason some of them here they have a gray button and it says not eligible to send offers and if you hover there it says eligibility to send offers to interested buyers is based on a number of factors including listing duration and rules that manage the number of offers buyers receive so if this has three watchers on it chances are i've already sent out an offer to those three watchers and that's why it's not eligible um because you you don't want to the system is set up so that you're not flooding the people with the same offers over and over that could be the reason i do know that i've heard from ebay customer service and other sellers that items have to be up in your store for like 24 hours before you can send out offers um the box right here says it's based on a number of factors so i usually just um scroll down you know quickly and eyeball for those green buttons and open those and I kind of check over here to make sure it has two or more um, like I said we're still playing around with this we're still getting used to it I think eventually I will have like a couple of days a week where I send them out just like I do on Poshmark and I may do like a deeper discount on the weekends like maybe 10% on Friday I'll send out maybe 20% on Sunday I won't be sending out as big of a percentage off as we do on Poshmark. Number one, our Poshmark prices are raised. We do list things higher over there um, to give us more room for offers and people over there pay for their shipping. So on eBay where my prices aren't as high as they are, they're still high. You guys know we love to list high. but. Um, I and we offer free shipping on most of our items I won't ever do like 30% off on eBay the way I do on Poshmark but um, moving forward I may go all the way down you know the whole page and do these these ones that have one watcher um, because my philosophy of oh well it's more likely to sell on an offer with more than one watcher I mean maybe that one person here watching these Banana Republic would be moved to buy these shorts if I offered them you know the shorts for 10 bucks or whatever so um, again it's gonna be trial and error um, I would like to hear from you guys if you already have like a system in place or a strategy if you have a rhyme or a rhythm set up already on what days you're doing your offers and how much you're sending out and if you have a specific message that you put in your box that's different from mine and you're willing to share it um, put that in the comments too. Okay guys, so that's exactly what I do. I just organize all of the watchers from highest to lowest. I do try to focus on items that have more than one liker. Maybe on the weekends when I have a little bit more time to spend, I'll go ahead and send them out to items that maybe only have one watcher. But throughout the week, I try to focus on two or more and you can organize them like I showed you so that you can go from highest to lowest. And then you saw my message. Again, if you want that message if you want to use it feel free um, let me know what you think down in the comments below if you've had the opportunity to utilize the offers to watchers from your seller hub for a while now if you have been using it have you noticed that it's increased your sales are you getting any response to the offers that you're sending out if you just recently got them and you just started experimenting with them let me know how that's going if you don't have them yet absolutely absolutely message ebay for business and get them on there um again buyers aren't used to this yet but it's still it's still an opportunity for us to drum up more sales and who doesn't want more sales do me a favor guys like this video before you leave the thumbs up does help our channel if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo you can find us on instagram facebook and twitter we're at flipping hippos until next time you guys have a good night